I'm on my way to catch a bus and there it is and it's not an ordinary bus check this out it is a double-decker bus it's electric but it used to be diesel how cool is that it's been converted to run on battery power let's go check it out yep this bus operated for years in Wellington running on diesel before engineers at transit group spent months converting it to electric being the first of its kind in the country it's been driven up to Auckland for two weeks of demonstrations to prospective buyers and with the knowledge learned during this technical surgery transit are now able to convert one to diesel bus like this to electric power every fortnight showing that Kiwi ingenuity is alive and well check this out we are going over the Harbour Bridge in a fully electric double-decker bus and it was running on dirty diesel and now it's clean. I'm really interested in asking about the tech specs of the conversion though because many many years ago I took an old Mitsubishi, many folks know this, and I ripped out the engine, put in some batteries and a motor and then drove it around New Plymouth for a couple of years running on pure electric power. So electric car conversions, they, uh, they stir my soul. Riding in this is kind of like therapy. It's electric car conversion therapy. I don't think I can say that. <laughs> what I can say though is that this machine is seriously impressive and if it's running on 100% renewable electricity such as that from Ecotricity which is New Zealand's only carbon zero certified electricity provider then this bus is able to offset hundreds of kilograms of carbon every single day. And of course it also doesn't produce a single gram of carcinogenic diesel particulate matter which is great news if you were born with a respiratory system. But it's the technical side of the conversion that really interests me so I got talking to one of the main brains behind this massive Kiwi engineering project. I can see already we've got two charging ports, how fast does this machine charge? So at the moment we, we went dual because dual's a, uh, we, what, we, what dual helps us is just gives us the case straight back real quick. So we're 120 kilowatt, 200 amp per charge, so we're 400 amp charging. So 240 kilowatt recharge. The obvious question is, what size battery has this got? So 350 kilowatt, they're spaced out all over the bus, so there's a couple up sitting up in here, a couple more down in there, more down in there, there's 10 in total. Each pack weighs around 200 kg. What, uh, what chemistry is this? Is it lithium ion or iron phosphate? So it's lithium ion. What was the hardest part of this? That is part of the repair. The whole, the whole conversion. So there's two horrible parts. <laughs> yep. One was when we cut the entire back off. Yep. And we could know we could never make it go as a diesel again. <laughs> yeah. That was the number point one. Of no return. That was the number one horrible yeah. bit. From there, it all started coming together really well. But we were very mindful that we didn't want to keep uh, taking it apart. Like we wanted whatever this one looked like today. We wanted the next 10, the next 80, the next 120 to look identical. So how this looks now is probably five goes to get it look like this. You know, that was once there, that was down there, that was up there. We just had to keep moving them around. It's just Lego. Yep, it's just, we had to keep moving it until we got to a point where we were like, that looks good, and we'll replicate that a hundred times. The next scariest part was um, when we went to weigh it all up, and uh, we ended up only being 500 kg heavier than it was. Oh. Um, we actually lost one standee person, but gained a seated person. So as far as loadings, we actually ended up all right there. So total weight, the original diesel versus the electric. It's 500 kg. Just 500 kilos extra, that's it? Yeah. That's, so it, that's not bad. <laughs> no, no, it's not, man. It's not. The only other real problem, the hardest bit, was that it's really hard to get everything to work again. Oh, really? So the, yeah, the bus is, um, oh, look at it, stab. <laughs> I wouldn't be far off it. I'd say there's between 10 and 15 computers through here. Well, how, how long did the total conversion take? So the bus sat in our Marston workshop for one year. But and I'd say we've probably got it done in between uh, 12 and 16 weeks. It's just that we had to come off and go on to other jobs. Oh, and, I was going to say, that's, that's pretty quick though. If we had to do it straight away again, like we were ready to go, on the next one we would have been four to four to six weeks. We would have turned another one around. Uh, what system voltage are we running at? Uh, just over 600. 600 volts. It's nominal, yeah. The motor's way down and under there, so it's just a conventional like motor into the diff too. So it's just, oh, so there's no gearbox? It's just direct to the diff? Just like your slot car. This giant slot car is powered by a 240 kilowatt motor with 3,000 newton meters of torque, powered by 10 battery packs located throughout the vehicle to even out the weight distribution, totaling 350 kilowatt hours and offering around 250 k's per charge. Not bad for a bus designed for the city. And when driving it up from Auckland, it used 702 kilowatt hours of electricity at a cost of around 200 bucks. But if it was still diesel, that 
would have cost around 1200 bucks. This 350 grand project is a sign of things to come and a breath of fresh air in a sector of transport which has long been dominated by noise and fumes. And best of all, this converted bus, the first of many, was done right here in New Zealand.